So we finally raised the funds and uh, after a few weeks of organising and stuff, um, we're eventually going to be planning driving this fire engine across to Ukraine. Um, it's half one, uh, we're supposed to be setting off at two, still waiting on uh, Nick coming along, but once he's come, uh, we're going to get it loaded up with all our stuff and then we're going to set off. Um, we've got to drive to North Shields first to get the ferry there. Um, North Shields should just be, well, uh, it should be about an hour and a half drive or something, and then the ferry's going to take about 15 hours. So I'll let you know when we get on the road. So this is Nick. Hi. How, how are you today, Nick? Happy to have arrived. <laughs> uh, happy to not have ended up uh, at... Um, South Shields, which is where <laughs> I was taking us, or where the sat-nav was taking us, so great to get here to North Shields and, uh, and almost, almost on a boat, thanks to Scott's navigation. <laughs> so, the boat is still here, Good. we've got the fire engine here, so we've not missed it, but yeah, we'll get the uh, fire engine onto the boat and then we'll be setting off to Amsterdam next. I think we're on a ship. Well, we're on the ferry now. We've loaded up. Um, it's about 15 hours. Ferry sets off at half five, so we're probably going to, well, we're getting there tomorrow morning. But it is on. We're loaded up. <laughs> So we've, uh, we've found the VIP driver's lounge. <laughs> We're making ourselves some uh, warm beverage. Is it actually warm? That's pretty hot, actually. It's pretty oh, hot. is it? Yeah, it's pretty hot. And, and, and there is coffee in there, I think. And we've got our um, yeah. our free bakery pano, item. Free pano chocolate. Singular pano chocolate. Look how big this is in my hand. That's a big one. <laughs> You'll have to eat that now. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm probably going to have to eat it now. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> some breakfast uh, we should get off the ship at about half nine or something and then we'll be driving through Netherlands into Germany <laughs> so we've been sectioned off from everyone else and um, we're hoping that they don't find the um, 500 gallons of whiskey that we've got stashed away in the back of the fire engine so we'll see what happens Just me for um, HGVs that are the colour red, actually, Scott, because the colour behind us is red as well. What, they're red as well? Yeah, so it's just like red yeah, shorts yeah. here, white a bit longer. Yeah, exactly. Anything red has just been condemned. <laughs> so we think that another fire engine's here. We're not the only ones. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. The new 
it's in, in my, my name. They're not letting us through. <laughs> <laughs> they seem genuinely interested, I have to say. But, uh... mm. <laughs> We're finally okay, through the border. Yeah. Okay. Having fun. Wednesday morning we stayed in Hanover in Germany um, we're about 400 kilometers in on Europe so we're not doing bad um, we're planning on getting to Poland by the end of today not sure exactly where but about a meter or something <laughs> Nothing. And uh, there's the ex-Soviet uh, Eastern Germany block that we stayed in last night. <laughs> I fucking shit myself. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, go on. Okay. Well, you know, we turned the key, having successfully remembered to turn Turf off the isolator last night, mistress. and not a lot happened. So, uh, a little bit disappointing. Uh, fortunately, Scott gave a waggle about with the isolator, and uh, second go, she fired up. So, off we go, and we hope it's just a sort of temporary aberration. Time will tell. Yeah, so the last stop it struggled to start as well, and uh, that sort of basically tells us that if the battery wasn't actually getting charged, then it definitely would not have started now because we drove like what 100 and, 180 kilometers was it since the last time or something like that? Uh, no, it was about 100, 110, I think. 110 kilometers. Yeah, well, it, it definitely wouldn't have started if, if that was the case, but we're hoping it's just a dodgy starter or yeah. maybe a loose connection on the isolator or something. Um, if not, then <laughs> <laughs> we're going to maybe come into complications, but hopefully not. <laughs> Skipped. Not even back on the main road yet, and we're already stopped. <laughs> it's Wednesday today. Yeah. I think we're about 100 kilometers. 
further. Just stopped in for fuel and uh, coffee and breakfast or something. Everything's going well. <laughs> All good? <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> yeah. Good, <laughs> that is a sound of freedom. <laughs> uh, I've just done a bit of driving. We're near the Polish border now, but uh, because we don't know if it's fully legal for me to drive or not, uh, we're going to swap over before we go over Polish border and then uh, see how it goes. We'll just stop for a bit more fuel, get some food. And then uh, we're going to book some hotels for the night in Poland. We've now crossed over into Poland. We're seeing a lot more uh, military vehicles coming um, back the way and stuff. Quite a lot of uh, transporters and stuff. Um, I'm going to do the last stint of driving about 45 kilometers or something to the hotel in Poland and then we're going to stop for the night. We're just at a shop getting some snacks and stuff. But yeah, everything's going pretty well so far. So we're done uh, driving for today and we've got another square building that we're going to be sleeping in <laughs> oh yeah the architecture yeah. yeah it looks beautiful yeah brutalist that's the word <laughs> Co -op chorizo. Great that we correctly identified the red flashing lights as a, yeah, yeah. As a reason, reason to stop. <laughs> You normally guess that when you're at a railroad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's now Thursday morning. We're about 570 kilometers from uh, the Ukrainian border. So we're hopefully going to get to the border by um, the end of today, cross over the border, and then stay in. Um, Ukraine near the border tonight um, and then we'll set off to Lviv tomorrow morning um, hopefully the truck starts this morning <laughs> time I take over driving you're checking the map and seeing where all the traffic is because every single time we've got stuck in traffic it's always me <laughs> well yeah okay <laughs> you may have found me out <laughs> think maybe it's the fuel filter but we're not 100% sure uh, we're pulled in it's lost a tiny bit of coolant so we're topping that up but if we change the fuel filter we're gonna have to tip the car because it's like under here and right up fingers crossed we're gonna crack on and see if it gets any slower um, but if it does then we'll have to look at trying to get a filter if not then make it i mean we're not very far from ukraine now we're, we're only what like 100 kilometers from the border or something something like that so fingers crossed so 
does. The Ukrainian tractors. <laughs> Tractor battalion. <laughs> <laughs> Way. Look at that, straight in the front of the queue. <laughs> yeah. Unless he's just letting you pass. So we're at the front of the queue. This guy's came over and he doesn't speak English. But so we've just been turned back from the border. But it's not the end of the world. I think we just have to park up and register like a truck thing or something. Um, but when we go back, I'm pretty sure they're going to just let us go to the front of the queue again. So... <laughs> Uh, we do get some privileges of being in a fire engine. Well, we got sent back. Then we went and registered. We did this dumb, stupid registration thing. Went to the gates to get like some ticket thing to get sent in the truck queue. And they just let us through without even checking anything. So now we're joining the queue of trucks. <laughs> How stupid was that? <laughs> Might just be drivers. No, not really. I bet they've got baseball bats. Really happy looking people. Uh, I can't go that way because it's the flipping. some documents we've uh, made a handwritten note to get through borders control <laughs> hopefully we don't get turned back because we're already s s what time did we first get to the border like five so we're six hours deep in uh, crossing the border if we get sent back then that's all over <laughs> Hopefully not. It's now five in the morning. Nick has gone off to find out whether this hotel is actually down here or not. We got through border control, no problem. It just took fucking ages. I think we got out at like two in the morning or something. Maybe three, I'm not sure. But we were in border control for... Uh... It's 
Friday morning, is it? It is Friday morning, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, it is. It's Friday morning. We yeah. think it's Friday morning. Yeah. Um, we think it is half past ten. Yeah, we think it's half past ten in the morning as well. We're a bit discombobulated because uh, we got through border control at like four in the morning. Uh, went straight past the hotel we were supposed to be staying, ended up in some random village in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, but they had the, exactly the same address. Yeah, yeah, exactly the same address. I feel quite bad now because the person actually came out looking for us. <laughs> um, to find no one. Um, and we ended up sleeping in the cab of the truck. Yeah, I woke up some dogs and some chickens. Yeah, I heard. Oh. Right. But now we're in Lviv. And we're going to go and we're in Ukraine. drop the fire engine off now, aren't we? We're going to check in the hotel and then organise the yeah, hangover. Yeah, yeah. That will happen today. Champion. Well, the Vib is it's supposed to be beautiful. I've not been before, so nice to spend a, a day at least a, or an evening. It's not the biggest of cities, is it? So no, I mean it's a decent size. Yeah. I don't know what the population is. I've seen pictures of it, it looks beautiful. Oh, okay. Okay. Red van. Yeah. <laughs> Here's where my uh, photography skills come in hand with all the roads. Well, we found a hotel. We're just waiting on the Ukrainians coming now. We're going to meet the fire chief. <laughs> um, they're coming to take the keys. And we're going to hand it across. We're going to spend the night in Lviv and then probably um, go to Kiev after and then see what happens after that. Yeah, they should be here in about five, ten minutes or so. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Currently at war. I didn't really get much footage from yesterday when we were in Lviv because we didn't really do that much to be honest but 
I mean, one of the main squares where they've sandbagged up a lot of memorials and they've dragged out um, Russian military vehicles that they've blown up and they've put them on display here. So I'll give you a look at them. Literally nothing left. I have a <laughs> go on. Okay, go. Your ma looks like you're dead. <laughs> <laughs>